Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to another tutorial. Um, today we're going to be talking about my baby, um, the Canon 750D. Right guys, so let's get right into it. Um, I've had this camera for over a year now and uh, unfortunately or fortunately I'm now upgrading my kit. So I thought it was a good idea to just give a brief synopsis on how I felt the camera's been performing over the last year and whether I'd recommend it to anyone who's thinking of starting out in photography. Well, I can certainly say um, I couldn't have asked for a better reasonably priced DSLR camera to lose my photography virginity to. It really has been amazing. It set me back about £550 when I bought it and with that you're getting a 24 megapixel image sensor which is absolutely amazing for photography. We'll go through a little montage of some of the photos I've taken with it recently and as you can see you're not very limited when it comes to taking pictures. Um, it's perfectly adequate. Another great feature of this camera is its autofocus. Um, it really is a good at picking up objects that are in frame and being able to focus on those. Um, however, when compared to some of its competitors, this camera only has 19 points in its autofocus, whereas the Nikon D5500 has 39 points. So it really is able, that camera really is able to pick up on objects that this camera might not be able to focus on. One of the most remarkable features I've found when using this camera is its battery life. The battery is only this big, but um, I've shot for a whole day, including filming, and it's lasted perfectly well. It really is amazing when it comes to that. Another really cool feature, oh, my bad, dodgy lighting. <laughs> Another really cool feature that's found on this camera that wasn't on its predecessors is its built-in Wi-Fi. Um, and now this allows you to connect up to an app on your smartphone, which allows you to control your camera from your smartphone. So you can control when you take photos, when you start recording, uh, the ISO, the aperture, all things like that from your smartphone, which is amazing. And not only that, it also allows you to download the photos from your camera straight to your smartphone, uh, which is really amazing if you want to upload your photos to things like Instagram and other platforms like that quickly. One of the limitations I did find while using this camera, and this is me being very overcritical, is that if you pump the ISO up too high, a lot of noise can come into your films and your photos. Um, although having said that, I think most of this camera's competition is also not the best when it comes to high ISO or low light shooting. Now again, um, the, one of the main reasons I am choosing to upgrade my gear is because of this camera's filming capabilities. When I started, I just started off in photography and this was ideal. It's all you need when it comes to photography. But if you want to start filming, uh, this is when it really starts to have limitations. Although this camera can shoot in 1080 HD, which is very adequate, um, especially when shooting handheld, you'd really like it to be able to shoot in slow motion. So this camera shoots in 30 frames per second at 1080 HD and you find that when you try and slow down your videos in post-production, it really starts to get bumpy because there aren't enough frames per second. Um, if this camera could go up to about 60 frames per second in 1080 HD, I would think that would really improve its film, filming capabilities. Um, although having said that, this camera has certainly not been made for filming and it's just a real luxury that you can. One of the main bonuses with this camera when it comes to filming has to be its fold-out screen. Um, if you're vlogging like I do sometimes, it really helps you see what you're filming and whether you're in focus and things like that. So after a long day's shooting, you can come back and you can know that the camera's been focusing on the right thing. Um, whereas some cameras that don't have these fold-out screens you've almost just got to record and hope. So some of you might be wondering what I'm filming this tutorial on. I'm filming on my new baby, the 6D Mark II. So it might be quite interesting to give a quick comparison between the quality of the 750D and uh, the filming quality of the 6D Mark II. So 6D Mark II now, and boom, we're filming on the 750D. 
Um, now to the untrained eye there isn't a giant difference in quality but you can certainly see that the noise has increased a little bit just because the 750D's ISO is not as good as the 6D Mark II's but um, that's not a big deal when you're starting out in photography so uh, don't let that stop you make that buy. So that was just a very brief review on what I feel is a perfect camera if you're thinking of starting out in photography. It's reasonably priced. For photography it's amazing. Filming it's a bit limited but again it can shoot at 1080 HD so what's stopping you from creating with that? So if you like this review please uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you for the next one. Boom!